So, so far, we have mostly talked about a linear link list like this, where we have a front pointer, then we have some unknown number of nodes, and we indicate the end of the link list by having the last node point to null. And even though the link list that we work with so far have mostly held integers, the idea here would be that the contents of the link list, they're not really that important to us. We can pretty much hold any objects. It can hold integers, uh, decimals, it can hold uh, potatoes, whatever, whatever objects or classes we want to store in here. I want to talk about uh, two derivative data structures today. Uh, we, we also also mentioned earlier that the, the link list is a concrete class in Java. And, but we said that it implements a particular interface. Well, it actually implements the list interface, but there's another interface that it implements which really kind of describes more what it does. Mr. Frenovic, it, it implements the queue interface. So this is like, if you want a queue in Java, that's basically you just create a link list. That's what a queue is. And so here's the front of the queue. Now, um, if we wanted to service the next item on the queue, typically we would remove element from the front of it and give that uh, item service. If we want to add to the queue, like you mentioned, this is a bank line, where would we add another customer? Yes, sir. We would add it to the back here like this. Now, let's take the example of adding a customer to the back. What would be the big O of trying to find the location where the addition needed to be made? I would like you to discuss with your partner for just one minute. I think we can agree that the actual act of inserting the item once we have the pointer located is O of K, because it's just a fixed sequence of changes to the pointers. But the act of finding where it needs to be inserted, how long does that part take? Mr. Ben, how long does that take? O it's gonna be O of N, because we're going to have to go through this list one at a time. In this case, it's gonna be, really is gonna be end, because we're gonna go, go right to the end to figure out where to add, where, where to add it. Now, interestingly enough, uh, if you try this with your homebrew link list, the one that you should be close to finishing now, you will find that that is the case. It will take you and tries to, to get to the, the end of the list. But strangely, if I did this with the library link list in Java, uh, you would find uh, maybe, well, I guess right now it would be to your surprise, but after today's lesson it won't be. Uh, it won't be O of N. It'll actually be O of K to add a new element to the list. Can anyone guess why? So uh, strangely, keeping track of it, it does keep track of its size, that's true. For example, if I kept track of this, the size here being three, uh, it's still, let's say I have a size variable internally, right? So I have this size variable here. And uh, it's, I, right now it happens to be three because there's three elements here. Uh, still, e even with this information, uh, when I gotta get to the back of the list, I gotta start here, I gotta go one, two, three, this, I'm still stuck at O of N, but that's not how it actually does it, yes. No, you mixed up two ideas there. Um, so it's not circular, it's still gonna be linear, but it, it, it does some extra work to make sure that these types of operations happen faster. I'll tell you the answer. It's got another set of pointers that point in the other direction. So here, it's gonna have these pointers here that go here. What do you think this pointer points to? Null. Yeah, that points to null. So basically, it, this is called a doubly linked list, a doubly linked list. Yes, sir. So the library is doubly linked by default? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. But you can use it as a single linked list if you want. In fact, I think we have done that a little bit maybe so far, right? but it, it gives you a doubly linked list. And so here, what do you think this pointer was typically called? Uh, could be called that, yeah. Tail. It's called the tail or the back here, like that, okay? So, uh, and so what happens here now, and you can see the advantage of having the doubly linked list, right? So for example, if you need to add something to the back, you just start here, just go one over, and then you can just add it in right there like that. So it, it it's, makes it really convenient. And so operations like inserting a new item at the end of the list become O of K now instead of O of N. So you can see that having the double linked list is creates a speed. What's the disadvantage? Okay, Mr. Mulcahy, sir, what would be the big disadvantage here? More memory. More memory, that's one. What's the other big disadvantage? Mr. Orspiva, what would be the other big disadvantage? Sir? Uh, no, we said the speed would be better because we can get access to the nodes quicker from both sides. Yes, sir, Mr. Frenemick? Yes. The, the idea here is it'd be a lot more complicated to maintain, more complicated to maintain. 
The other thing is, we had this node structure that we had discussed before. Let's look at this node. So here we had the data, and here we had a next pointer. That was like a pointer that pointed to the next one. What do you think the node structure will look like in a, in a doubly linked list like this? Please discuss with your partner again now. Okay, Mr. Afsari, what do you think the node structure will look like in a doubly linked list like this? Okay, so there would be another thing here, very good, sir, where there would have to be a previous here like that. Okay, so basically it's got a pointer that goes this way, it's got a pointer that goes that way. So with that idea in mind, what I'd like you to do now is take out a piece of paper and pretend that this linked list already exists right here like this. We'll say it's a linked list of characters. So we'll say that this contains A and B and C like that. It's all been built for you. And I would like you to write the code to remove the letter B. So we're gonna, we're gonna remove this and we're gonna put the rest of the list back together. Please do that now. If you need paper, there's some paper here. I want to just, we're going to just do this, obviously we wouldn't do it manually if we had a real link list, but just for today, we're just going to manually remove this, this second item which happens to have the letter B in it. You can just assume that you know it's going to be in it, just remove the second item from the list. Okay. I want you to remove it. I want you to see what pointers have to be rearranged and, and all that sort of thing. There's more than one right answer to this, by the way. There's more than one right answer. All right, who has not helped me in a while? Mr. Basu, sir, uh, I want to I wanna get rid of this node here. Uh, so can you tell me what's your strategy here? Let's, let's try to write some little, little code here. What do you got for me? Front.next. Front.next. I like it so far, sir. Front.next. And which, which cell are you referring to when you say front.next? Okay, that's going to be this part right here. No, this, that, this part right there. That front dot next. It's not the A. It's the it's the it's the next part of the front node. Yes, sir. What should what should I put over here now? Keep going. Okay, that's a great start, sir. Front equals null. It was going so well, sir, until you smashed the whole list against the wall. So here's what you've done so far, Mr. Basu, and I, and I like it so far, by the way. Here's what you've done. You've set this pointer here. To point over here. And that's good. Now, are there any other pointers we need to change here, sir? Okay. Back dot, back dot, back dot next. Back dot next would be this pointer here. Is that the one we want to change? You want to change this red pointer, you agree, right? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that red pointer relative to back? It would be back dot what? I'll look over here. Previous. Back dot previous, very good. And what do we want to do to back dot previous? What do we want this pointer to point to? What node do we want it to point to? Okay, and so how do I say that? Do we have a pointer that, I'm sorry, I think you just said it. I, I, I realize in hindsight I should have drawn these a little bit differently, so let me, let me draw a better version of this. You're absolutely right, sir. Okay, so this is a little cleaner version. And so, um, once again, what Mr. Uh, Basu had started us off with was uh, front.next, front.next, which is this cell right here, right? Front.next. Instead of pointing here, it should point over here. So it should point to whatever back is pointing to. And then uh, Ms. Teleska told us that uh, back.previous, see that? Okay, so that basically, what, what that does is it kind of eliminates this cell that was in the middle. Now, <clears throat> this pointer has been changed so that it's pointing here now. And my question is, after I'm done with this code, are there any pointers in the memory that are still pointing to this node? Look at it, look at it right now. Yes, no. No, no. there are pointers coming out of it, but there are no pointers going into it. You see that? Yeah. So what does that mean as far as the garbage collector is concerned? It's free real estate. It's free real estate. It's gonna get it's gonna get gobbled up eventually, hopefully, right? It's gonna get gobbled up and it's gonna get reclaimed in the memory.